Hello, welcome to a special red hot edition of the Bible says this, what say you? Now, I couldn't even wait to get to the sanctuary. Uh, well, let me give you a scripture. Psalms 33 verse 4, the A clause says, for the word of the Lord is right. Now, we're going to shoot this one right out to you because we're right on the heels. Uh, well, we're not on the heels. We're on the aftermath of a big, 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 big victory that took place in the state of North Carolina on yesterday. Now, as you see, you see the big guy sitting beside me. This is my son-in-law, the elder John Amanchuku. He's a man of God indeed, a gospel preacher, and a bona fide, certified warrior for Jesus Christ. He worked along with some good North Carolinians to overturn craziness, uh, just insidious wickedness that took place in Charlotte a little while ago with the Charlotte uh, uh, City Council voted, I think it was seven to three or seven to four, something like that, to pass an ordinance that had that thing held true. Uh, bathrooms across the, the, the city of Charlotte and, uh, and, 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 and the goal was to spread it throughout North Carolina uh, would be where Men could go to women's restrooms, and women could go to men's restrooms. That's right. And uh, it's in the name of this uh, transgendered deal. That's right. And uh, transgender, and we're going to talk just for a few minutes. Uh -huh. Now, if you got your little baby watching, cover her little ears, cover his little ears, unless you just want him to know the truth. And, I, you know, really, I, I think that uh, uh, parents need to start teaching the children the truth now earlier and earlier. That's right. Because it's in cartoons. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Books, magazines. Books, magazine, music, Video commercials. Games. Everywhere. This 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 uh uh unisex, this androgynous, uh, this uh Caitlin Bruce Jenner <laughs> Jenna Caitlin whatever. But these transgendered people they tried to pass a law in Charlotte that would allow transgender, which means uh, the transgendered female, transgender is a euphemism. The transgendered female is a man who wear women's clothing. Maybe he's got uh, artificial boobs put in. Maybe he has facial softening uh, surgery. Maybe he's taking hormones to look like a woman. Maybe he's wearing a wig or got a sew in or something. But at the end of the day, the DNA, chromosomes, and the plumbing down below says man. M-A-N. So a transgendered female is a man who has began to mutilate himself. A transgendered uh, uh, male is a woman, right? Okay, cause I, I'm, getting, right. I'm getting confused myself. That's right. Is a woman uh -huh. who's had a perfectly beautiful set of breasts removed. Removed. Completely. Gone. Gone. Uh, 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 she's taking uh, testosterone therapy. Uh, she may even grow facial hair. Right. Voice gets a little deep. But from the navel down, she's still what God made her from birth. So it's a guy, um, it's a female with guy clothes on, dressed like a guy, dressed like a fella, trying to walk like a fella, right. talk like a fella. That's right. But it's still female. It's confusion. It's confusion. It's confusion. I mean, I'm confused talking about it. That's right. It. So, now, if we sound uncaring or unchristian and that kind of a thing, forgive us for not trying to bring sense to something that is truly uh, nonsensical. Now, right. while we're doing this, we don't have time to cut it, so I'm just going to hit do not disturb. That's what I did, just in case somebody called me. Because we need to talk about this. And so in the state of North Carolina, because a few people have mutilated themselves, and a very few, mm -hmm. am I right? Very few. Very, very what, few. what is the estimated number? Right. So one, one, one will say this. I'll say this, uh, Bishop. When you look at the vote in North Carolina. Okay. Okay. When you look at the vote, 69% of voters believe the recently passed ordinance should not have gone through, right? 
They believe that it shouldn't have. Sixty-nine percent. Sixty-nine percent of North Carolinians. Yes, right. Was voted. against. Was they were against it? The ordinance. They were they were vehemently against it. Wow. And you saw that kind of trait in the House and the Senate because the House voted eighty-three to twenty-five to strike down the ordinance, <clears throat> and the Senate voted thirty-two to zero. Now the reason why you have the zero with the Senate that's because the Democratic senators got up and walked out before they could cast their vote. Which was an act of cowardice. Exactly. Because, see, I believe this, and I got this, I got this on good That's right. information. That's right. I won't call names, but some of those Democrats who voiced a problem with, the, uh, with uh, what the Republicans were doing right. in overturning this, right. they're not against it. Hmm. Some of them are trying to form legacies. That's right. Some are trying to open the door for their sons to walk into politics. That's right. And some just took the easy way out because they didn't want to go back to their constituents and say, hey, uh, and, and face their constituents who would say, why would you vote for such a thing? Right. Because nobody in their right minds want their little son or daughter. Right. I got a grandbaby, my mm -hmm. granddaughter, your daughter. That's right. Prettiest girl in the world. You know if it. we hey, listen, we don't want her and my daughter, your wife. That's right. Prettier than a granddaughter, <laughs> standing in a ladies' room, mm -hmm. and a guy walk in your height, right, with your strength. That's right. With a wig on, right, and a dress. That's a problem. But it's a fella, right? And Crystal is in, but my you, you, right. right. Oh, yeah. And my grandbaby, and there's this man. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that. Right. And it's almost as if nowadays you're allowed to select your gender. If you wake up in the morning, you were born a male, but you, hey, by 2 o'clock p.m., you feel like you're a female, you could be one. And we're supposed to recognize that, and that, uh, to us, I mean, it's, ba it's baffling <laughs> and perplexing. I want to read this to you and share this information. Um, it, it talks about some statistics as it relates to transgenders. Uh, According to the DSMV, as many as 98% of gender-confused boys and 88% of gender-confused girls eventually accept their biological sex after naturally passing through puberty. So the issue at hand is this. Mm. There are many in the state who may be transgender, whatever you call yourself, but the thing is, by puberty, most of them, they figure it out. They're, they start off confused like most children, you know, confused about life. Don't, they, don't, they have to learn. They have to be taught. They have to grow. Mm. But they start off confused, but by the time they get to a certain age through puberty, they figure it out. Common sense kick in. Common sense kicks in. So there was a clash between confusion and common sense. Wow. And we wanted to make sure that common sense won. And I thank God for our governor yep. and for the General Assembly, the House and the Senate for doing their job. Let me share this with them, uh, Bishop Wooden, if I will. Uh, can I just interrupt and say this? Yes, sir. I want you to stick with that. I want to thank God because, see, this is a church. We're in our office. Separation of church and state. Right. Thank God for the 11 Democrats <laughs> who went over with the Republicans and voted to kill this craziness. Mm -hmm. Praise God for you guys. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is not a Democrat or Republican thing. And listen, if we seem all get if we seem all get it, we are because in this case, for however long, right. common sense prevail, the biblical narrative prevail. Now, you were a part of it. Yes. You were there. I was there. You were you spoke multiple times. That's right. Talk to, share the information that you, you want to share with them. You, you want to see this. People. Now, I know many of you have already heard John's uh, speech on the, on the news. I know you heard out Elder Amachuka. We got it posted on our website. I mean, I want you to hear it because the things that he had to say were true, powerful, masterful, and he just did a super job representing the kingdom of God and what is right and, again, common sense. All right, sir. Well, in the book entitled The Marketing of Evil, David, David, David Kuplin says that neutrality is collaboration. Mm. And then Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said in 1967 at the Riverside Baptist Church 
that there comes a time when silence becomes betrayal. Mm. So when you merge those two powerful statements together, you find out that neutrality is collaboration, right. but also betrayal. So that was the main point that I <laughs> delivered while I was there, that there are so many people who sit in the position of neutrality. Yeah. They're afraid to say what they believe. Right. And you know, neutral won't get you down the road. No, sir. You got to move the gear shift yep. to drive to start moving. That's right. And the issue at hand right now is that confusion and common sense collided. And I had the opportunity to speak on Monday down at the state capitol. Mm -hmm. And then I had the opportunity to speak yesterday during the Senate session and the House session. Wow. I want to share something wow. with you from uh, wow. Marcus Cicero. Now that's the halls of power. That's the halls of power. That's, 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 you're speaking where it counts. That's right. That's right. Not not at the barbershop. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? That's not right. on the side of the street. And not just here in this office. Right. But before the lawmakers. That's right. The most powerful people in our state. Because everybody knows that public policy affects private behavior. That's right. What That's happened? Right. I wanted to share, share this with you. This is from Marcus Cicero. Uh, A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious. But it cannot survive treason from within. Mm. An enemy at the gates is less formidable, for he is known and carries his banner openly. But the traitor, the traitor. moves amongst those within the gate freely. His sly whispers, rustling through all the alleys, heard in the valley halls of government itself, for the traitor appears not a traitor. He speaks in accents familiar to his victims, and he wears their face and their arguments. We see that every day. He appeals to the baseness that lies deep in the hearts of all men. He rots the soul of a nation. Mm. The, the soul of America is constantly being rotted, rotten in a way simply because of people who are in the halls of government who fail to do their job. Wow. So I sent this message to our Attorney mm. General, mm. Roy Cooper. He failed to do his job. To, pr pr to protect, to the, protect citizens. the citizens of our state, but also to defend the law. The right. D defend that's, the law that's what I want to get at. uphold our Constitution. Now you, you, now, you know who else failed to do that? Who's that? With the Defense of Marriage Act. Okay. He just decided arbitrarily. That's right. Before po portions of it were struck down. Mm -hmm. And then the Supreme Court ruled the same-sex marriage and all this. But our president that's right. decided arbitrarily we will no longer defend the Defense of Marriage Act. That's we right. won't enforce it, I mean. That's right. Go right ahead. And so our job as citizens, we're called to speak up to these things and to expose it when our government officials fail to do their job. We didn't want to have to pay $42,000 to call a special session mm -hmm. to come down to the General Assembly and to deal with the situation. That's right. But the ordinance came into effect on April 1st, mm. which is April Fool's Day. All right, and we didn't want to be fooled. We didn't want to be bamboozled either. Woo. So we had to do something about the situation right away. So the governor, you know, and the General Assembly, they came together and they called this special session to deal with this issue. And I want to thank our citizens. I want to thank our governor Hallelujah. for doing that and for standing up for what is Right. Uh, Tammy Fitzgerald. Tammy Fitzgerald, uh, the Warrior, North Carolina Values that, that Coalition. Was, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. The Alliance Defending Freedom. Wow. Uh, Dr. Mark Creech. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, God the, bless the many people who were able to get down there and to speak. And for those of you who couldn't come, but you prayed. Hallelujah. And you sent your prayers up to glory. And let me tell you something. The prayers of the righteous mm. avail of much. Mm. And it worked. Praise the Lord. And and listen, we're, we're, we're bringing this to a close. But I, I, I want to say this. That, that were just so many things that, that has been saved as a result of it. The impact on bathrooms. Listen, had this thing passed, men can go into women's bathrooms, showers, and lockers rooms, right. and vice versa. Who wants a society like that? That's right. Women and children will be forced to undress in front of men and even take showers next to them. Because remember, the transgendered woman is not a woman. It's a man. That's, That's right. a guy. A guy, he's not a woman. Uh, DNA says man. Right. Chromosome says man. Feet says man. Hands says man. Fingers says man. Uh, hip, uh, hip indention points says man. says man. Shoulder width says man. Right. And strength says man. man. It's a man. It's a, it's a guy standing there who wants their daughter or their or their mother 
I mean, we're talking about our mothers. That's right. Grandma. That's right. 80 year old lady in the ladies' room and a guy walking there. An old man, how you doing? How do you, how you think she's going to handle that? Right. Look at this. Uh, uh, another impact on the bathroom. This includes any place open to the public right. schools, libraries, businesses, parks, um, sporting venues, YMCAs, and other gyms. And, and, and. and all right, all right. Churches. Churches. There churches, yes. The, the ordinance didn't even give churches, Christian schools, or anyone else right. a, a, a out. It included every place, everywhere. Anyone, uh, if anyone tries to stop a man from going into their daughter's bathroom under, under this law, they could be sued, fined, uh, and or put in jail. This was a horrible law. Everyone, everyone should be praising God for right. the team that went down there. Brother Amachuko, you my hero. Thank going you, down Bishop. there, standing your ground, fighting for, not just uh, 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 for the kingdom of God, right. uh, but for children. That's, that's right. That's for right. babies. And for many of you who won't fight, you know, I don't know why you won't, but you won't fight. But you benefit that's right. from the battle that the courageous uh, wage. Everybody benefits. Impact on businesses. Businesses will be required to promote ideas, participate in events, and communicate communicate messages that violate their sincerely held beliefs. If they don't, they will be fined five hundred dollars uh -huh. a day and could even face jail time. This was a terrible. Could law. you imagine the impact on a small business Woo! being fined five hundred dollars a day? It would put them out of business. Unbelievable. It would put them out of business. Businesses across North, North Carolina will be forced to implement company policies and internal operating procedures that violate their beliefs or else lose their contract with the city of Charlotte. Right. The Queen City. Queen City. With emphasis on Queen, uh -huh. had lost its mind. <laughs> Schools and churches will be forced to violate their core beliefs. This was bad, my friends. And look at this. Frivolous lawsuits would be filed, likely causing businesses to suffer and to go bankrupt. If it will harm the economy, discourage business, and open up businesses to legal harassments. Thank God, thank God that the ordinance Fail. Thank God that common sense prevailed. Thank God for warriors like Elder uh, Amanchukwu, Tammy Fitzgerald, oh, yes. uh, uh, Dr. Mark Creech, uh -huh. and, and, and so many others who right. fight uh, in, in, in this fight, who stand right. their grounds. Lies were being told. They lied on Title IX. They said uh, Title IX, a federal statute that prohibits sex discrimination, requires schools to allow transgender students mm -hmm. to use the restrooms and locker rooms of the opposite sex. Fact. Title IX does not require That's schools right. to eliminate distinct facilities for boys and for girls. It recognizes that there are privacy and safety concerns uh -huh. justifying the distinctions. Title IX allows schools to provide separate toilets, rest, uh, locker rooms, uh, and showers, shower facilities on the basis of sex. Right. Which is, which is, until late, okay. is a no-brainer. That's right. It's a no-brainer. Only sense. of late have we began to accommodate uh, uh, craziness and, and wickedness. And for those people who have mutilated themselves, mm. for those people who have, who have you've gone through, uh, Jesus loves you. I know that we, we're, 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 we're celebrating here. We have, we have not lost sight on the fact that you too are for whom Christ died. Right. But you need to give your heart to the Lord. That's right. And, and the Lord will save you. But, but you, you have to accept that much of this, especially those who have gone to the lynch right. where it cannot be reversed, right. you've just mutilated your body. Right. One of the fallacies of this operation, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm, I'm reading a book by Walt Heyer. A young man, a gentleman who went all the way with the gender reassignment surgery. Mm -hmm. And even Walt talks about how it is, it's the biggest sham. Here's the book right here. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, we're going to have Walt. I'm working on getting him to come to this church. That's great. Walt talks about how, and Walt went all the way. And it's in his book. 
he's born again now, married, mm -hmm. and, and going on with his life, and, 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 and I can hardly wait to meet him. But Walt talked about how it is a fallacy, the gender reassignment surgery. Right. The, just the name, gender reassignment, is, is a fallacy, it's a lie. You're taking advantage of people because one of the greatest lies on earth is to make someone think that you can actually reassign That's their right. gender by cutting away body parts. That's right. That the mutilation of the human body actually serves to reassign gender. That's right. The truth is, my friends, gender right. cannot be reassigned. You can't. You can't. God, the Bible says, made them male and he made them female. Bishop? Yes, sir. To that point. Yes, sir. To that point. Talk to me. The American College of Pediatricians. All right. They now, they don't, they don't go to the upper room. They don't go to the upper they're room. They're not members of the upper room. Oh, no. They're not they never heard me members. preach. They're not here. All right. Okay. They're okay. Not the room. So, I, I, I haven't uh, 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 influenced them at all. Oh, no. All right, then. Okay. Far, far from it. All right. They say, no one is born with a gender. Everyone is born with a biological sex. <laughs> gender... <laughs> defined is an awareness and sense of oneself uh, as male or female. It's, it's, it's an awareness. It's an awareness. Gender is an awareness. That's right. It's, a, it's, it's what you know in your head. That's right. All right. <laughs> it's, it, it's a sociological, to your point, psychological mm -hmm. concept, not an objective biological one. No one is born with an awareness of themselves as male or female. This awareness develops over time and like all developmental processes may be derailed by a child's subjective perceptions, relationships, and adverse experiences from infancy forward. People who identify as feeling like the opposite sex. I feel like Jane, but my name is Jake. All uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. If you feel like it or somewhere in between, do not compromise as a third sex. Right. There is no such thing. No such thing. As a third sex. So so the con are these surgeons. The con are the surgeons and a lot of these lawyers who are making money try, oh, yeah. trying to defend these people and to protect these laws. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they remain biological men or biological women. There is nothing that you can do to change what God did in giving you his anatomy that he gave you. The Bible <laughs> says in Genesis 5 and 2 that he made them male and female. female. Yes, sir. And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I'm a youth pastor. I deal with children of all ages. I've done college ministry work for at least 10 years. The Bible says in Ezekiel 18 and 4 that all souls are mine. mine. Amen. We love that confused yes, transgender person. Oh, yeah. We love that confused fornicator. Right. We love the confused liar. Yep. But we can't allow you to remain in confusion. Right, right. We love right, you. We're right, called right, as living right, epistles. Right. We're called to stand forth and to show forth righteousness. But the Bible says, all souls are mine, but the soul <laughs> but that sinneth, it, it shall die. See, and, die. You can't, and you can't leave that out. That's right. And, 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 and the thing that makes what you're saying so important, sir, is that that is a reaction that we give for winning the public that's right. policy that's right. battle. That's right. That's what we're so so happy about. That's right. That that wickedness mm -hmm. didn't get voted into law. Right. But we don't lose sight on the that's fact right. that souls are at stake. That's Our right. time is up. Gary's been balled up his fist. He says, wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. Okay, Gary, we're going to wrap it up. I want to know Gary's the one that's wrapping us up. But listen, <laughs> listen. To God be the glory. And we want to say to all the believers out there who love Jesus Christ That's right. and who are not ashamed of the gospel, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Thanks for watching.